Hey everyone, let's talk about Lost Ruins of Arnak, which I just did a full playthrough for, if you're wondering where all of the gaming stuff is. There's, there's like an hour of it or more in that uh, playthrough. I go through the whole thing in the solo mode. But you get a good idea of the multiplayer as well, hopefully. Uh, so this is just about what I think. And what do I know? Well, I know how to play Lost Ruins of Arnak. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a really great kind of uh, meeting of deck building and worker placement, and deck building in a kind of in a kind of slow way, not in you know a usual kind of dominion way where you are make, making radical changes or drawing your whole deck and stuff. There are those kind of things that let you trash cards, let you exile cards, and uh, draw more. But it's a much uh, it's a much slower kind of deck building, like Mage Knight. Although I hesitate to say that because. The, the rest of the game is nothing like Mage Knight, but in that kind of slower thing that you're adding these cards to it bit by bit, maybe more though if you're really going into gold, there's a ton of different ways that this can go. And uh, from my limited, I think I've played four, four times now. I went an online game, which you can watch on the, the Gaming Rules channel. Uh, so I've played it. I've played it five times. Technically, that counts. Uh, so uh, yeah, and it can go in radically different ways. It's not all about you know a lot of things lead to the the research track but it's not all about that you can be you know halfway up it you can decide that you want to get your book at the same level so you can get all the assistance and the upgraded things that they can bring you can decide you just want to race to the top and try and keep generating resources so you can get those tiles that are worth a ton of points but you can just as easily you know try and discover a load of things and try and kill a load of guardians if that's what you have uh, kind of got cards and artifacts that uh, push you in that direction or just try and get loads and loads of things so you can get a load of points from your uh, items as well. Uh, yeah, there's this uh, kind of combination of all of this stuff can lead to uh, quite different games. And as well as, you know, all the different bonuses, the different sites that you're going to see, the different guardians and things. Yeah, there's a, there's, a lot, uh, there's a lot of stuff to find out in there, especially in a game with fewer players as well. You're going to see fewer cards. And I think... I haven't gone through the entire deck, but as, as far as I know, I haven't seen another co a, a identical card. You know, there, there are similar ones, you know, like instants that give you uh, tablets or one will give you compasses instead. But, you know, for the for the large part, I think everything is unique in there as well. So, so tons to see. And yeah, it's going to, like, I have to say that, like, in, in the terms of the multiplayer and solo, I, I think I've enjoyed it most solo. It's it's really fast solo for a start. Not that it's, it's, uh, it's slow at other player counts. It's, it's, quite snappy but yeah i just really like the speed of you know it's a really simple uh bot that is just going to do a particular thing it's going to get in your way in in this particular way and it's going to score points and be some nice competition along the way as well and you you can manipulate it in in small ways in trying to get into the certain sites that you you know that the bot needs this bonus but it's it's i don't know how much it's worth doing that i haven't been doing that but yeah it's, it's something you could lean towards but then again it's only one point difference whether they get an idol they need or an idol that they don't uh, but yeah you can have an idea of what is still to come in their stack and what you might need to do before that comes out if you really want an action that involves getting arrowheads it's the only one out there and they haven't drawn that tile yet then yeah you need to to prioritize these things it's uh it's a nice smooth uh, difficulty curve in it as well that's you know you can you can just substitute more and more red cards uh into the the bot deck to get it to do you know, more powerful versions of the actions uh, to basically compete better in the score as well you know in the multiplayer game the only thing that kind of is at the back of my mind is that you know the the way that the the sites and the guardians can come out at various points of the game, it can be you know really crucial getting certain things, and they can be either useless resources to you or vital resources to you. But at the same time, it probably balances out. That at the same time as that, there is that you know nagging voice in the back of my head. That at the same time, I'm kind of going, it probably balances out. It's probably just uh, a, a weird feeling. It's probably that you should. Uh, just let that go and uh, think that it's not that big a deal because over the course of the game that's probably going to balance out quite easily and even stuff that's not useful to you at one point you know there are plenty of ways to to use those resources whether it is for you know activating artifacts buying new cards and artifacts researching new places there's probably going to be somewhere that you can use these and there are plenty of opportunities to upgrade uh, items as well the tablet arrowheads and rubies have a hierarchy where they can be uh, more useful so I, I feel like there have been times where i'm making a bigger deal about that than i need to but 
in the solo mode especially is another reason why I, I like it. I don't really mind any of that stuff because, yeah, it's, it's already kind of uh, a, a random chance of what the AI is going to do. And you kind of want those things uh, coming at you and having to roll with them in a solo game especially. So, yeah, I, I haven't really got any kind of uh, complaints about it. I think it's, uh, it's a great game and you should check out the playthrough and see if you would enjoy it too. I'm going to go now and do another one of these. Bye, everyone.